Okay, alright, so welcome to a Blocks Wufu template, no, not template, form tutorial. And I'm going to get straight to the point here. What you want to do is you want to go into your browser, you want to go on to wufu.com. Now, basically, this is how to embed a form into your website. So, for this, I've used the blog template again for another reason why you might want to have, say, a form to request things you want to do in the background. Now, for this, what you're going to need to know is you're going to need to know the background color you're using for that particular thing. So, you're going to want to create a copy of that. Then you want to go into Wufu. Then you want to log in with your account. Here's one I made earlier. <laughs> there you go, spoilers. And uh, okay, so you've got I've got two forms here. I'm gonna create a brand new form. It's very easy. And here, what do we want to add? Let's add uh, simple line text. Uh, email. What else might we want to have? In fact, let's re rearrange these so you see the power. So in here, actually, I'll have. I'll call it name and then you can uh, do single line text show field to everyone and yeah add a field and what else have we got we've got address email phone price rating uh, paragraph text let's introduce a paragraph text here then we have call this like message for example yeah message you can create a character limit i'm not going to do that but you can create a character limit um yeah i'm going to click on save form uh continue editing this form then we want to go on themes and we then want to load up or we're going to go on forms sorry and we're going to guess which one we have done go on to uh, edit yeah this is our form go on form settings field settings I swear it was easier than this and then go on to backgrounds wallpaper then I'm going to load up paste in oh not like that paste in a hashtag and we want to go on to save theme save your theme we're going to call it blocks blog theme click submit and the form title new trial of our CS and then we're going to go on to Forms. Then I want to go to where we edit. Oh no! Then we want to go see on the jack. Then want to go on the drop-down menu here. Click the blocks blog theme. Then want to go on share. And here you get a permanent link to your form. You want to take a copy of that, and you simply want to go back into blocks. Under where it says iframe, just get rid of the old Google Maps like one we had before. And eventually this will go away. There we go. We're going to paste in our new one. We're going to give it a bit of a bigger height. So I'm going to give it a height of 600 this time. And then we're going to just simply export the product. Call it desktop. Go to the desktop. And you see here's our template. Open this up. Then I want to go to the about page. And there you go. Our form appears on the screen with the same fits like fits into our page seamlessly pretty much uh, of course you can do more of editing with the theme set settings here on wufu you can change the typography uh what else can you do the logo if you want to put a logo in there borders shadows buttons you can do loads i haven't got enough time to show that in this video but basically i'll just do a demonstration and then you can put your email address in We'll go uh, test message. Uh, they just want to click submit. And then great. Thanks for the out form. Here's this little uh, made this menu here. I'm going to go into Wufu. Go on reports. Or oh, it's gone forms. Uh, it's got entries. Entry. I just select entry from below. So, oh, here we go. We've got Scott Marley here. Appears at the bottom. Let's okay, have a look. And then here you go, you can see the IP address is sent from, date created, time sent, uh, test message there, my email, and of course the name. So if you guys enjoyed this video on how to embed blocks forms really easily and simply without bothering the PHP code that I have seen on the, uh, the forums. And if you haven't, you should go and check them out in the, in the description. I'll leave a link to the forum post or posts or the, just the forum in general. You'll be able to like check out beta, uh, beta and I'll be doing like reviews of the betas that he releases before. Like, for example, if 1.3 is coming out soon, I'll do a beta before 
I'll like do a review of the beta and then we can go have our own, own little journey on how the feature has been added. I just think that's pretty cool. So thank you for watching guys and I'll see you guys in uh, another box tutorial. Bye bye.